Hi guys, so today um, if I'm sounding a little bit different or looking a little bit different, a little bit swollen around my mouth and I do have a little bit of a lisp, it's because I recently got my Invisalign fitted. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Snapchat, then firstly, you should. Yeah, I spoke about it on my Twitter and Snapchat. I did also vlog the day, but I haven't got around to editing it yet. It might be up on the day that you're watching this, so if you're not subscribed to my second channel, then go and watch Soph Does Vlogs. Basically, Invisalign is like a clear brace. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid for this with my own money, unfortunately, because it's quite expensive. Um, but yeah, I've been saving up for them. If you wanna know the whole story and everything, then head over to my second channel, because I did do like a video throughout Vlogmas talking about it. But yeah, if I sound different today, then that is why. Also, this jacket I got on Amazon, and I wanted to wear it in this video because I was cold, and I could have worn my dressing gown, but I thought that this looked a little bit cuter. Um, it's basically this big, giant teddy coat thing. Um, I will leave it linked down below. I have been trying to get like a teddy jacket thing for ages. Um, I finally got this one on Amazon, but one thing I do wanna say is it comes up really big. So if you're ordering it, um, well, I know that a lot of people like to get it oversized. I went for a size eight, which the label actually says medium, um, but it's actually like really big, but I'm still gonna keep it just because it's really cozy. But anyway, um, I have a bunch of makeup here, which is from Asda, George at Asda. Um, the American equivalent of Asda is Walmart. So this is basically their own brand. Um, I know that Asda is actually owned by Walmart. So they have their own brand of makeup, which is called George. The makeup, they recently launched, it looks really interesting. So I have a full face in here, which I'm gonna test. Obviously it's really affordable. I'm pretty sure each individual thing is like under 10 pounds. Um, I would try and link it down below if it is available online. I don't know if it is, but you're more likely to find this stuff like actually in store. So the only items of makeup that I don't have from George are a powder, but there is a powder in one of the contour kits. And the other thing is a concealer. I don't know if they have a concealer but I don't have one. I am just gonna use one of my other drugstore concealers, but first, let's try the foundation. This is the Lightweight Natural Finish Foundation in Ivory. I believe this is the lightest shade. It's just got this um, pinky sort of packaging. So I'm giving it a little, oh, I've got hair stuck to my lips. So it's just in this little squeezy tube thing. This color looks like it might be too dark, actually. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like it might match me okay. I don't know how much to put on. Also something that annoys me is the lid doesn't like close properly. It doesn't twist all the way around. It's just kind of like, do you see that? It won't go all the way. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh no wait, this is definitely gonna be too dark. That is too dark for me. However, it has got pretty nice coverage. After I finish this, filming this video, Sam is coming over. <laughs> so if I look really crazy, he's gonna be like, what have you been doing to your face? So, so far it's very dewy. If you like a dewy foundation, then um, you will like this. Me personally, having oily skin, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. The color doesn't look too bad, but I would definitely go for a shade lighter. But if you have dry skin and you're looking for something that's just got a nice kind of light, light coverage and it will give you like that even skin tone, then this is actually not bad. I have got these two contour crayons. One of them is a highlighter, one of them is a actual like contour. I'm not being funny, but how the hell is that a highlight? It's literally just a yellow crayon. Maybe it would be good for highlighting under your eyes if you had deep skin, but I still, I think this would be way, way too like orangey yellow. Okay, well that was a fail. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer because I don't have another Asda George concealer. They did actually send me these products, which was really nice of them, but this video is not sponsored. Um, <laughs> they sent this stuff to me months ago, so they're probably like, is she ever gonna use that stuff? I love finding new makeup that's affordable. I don't know, it's always just so exciting when I do these testing videos and I find something that I really love and it's like under a fiver, I'm like, yes. I'm now gonna test out the other contour crayon, like the darker one. We all know here that contouring is not really my thing. <laughs> oh my God, that's dark. And neither is cream contour, so it does look like a pretty cool toned color and it is super soft. Like, did you see how easy that just drew onto my face? That pretty much just blended into nothing. Ooh, you know what? On that side, that worked so much better. 
it's just given me like a really subtle bit of definition. At first when I was blending it out, I was kind of like, um, where did it go? I mean, it's nothing crazy. At least it wasn't orange. I then have this four shade contour powder palette and I think this is five pounds. It doesn't have a mirror, but it's got four shades. It's got a light contour, whatever that, but that's not a contour. That's like a powder or highlighter or whatever. There's then a actual highlighter, which is too dark for me, a bronzer, which is a shimmery orange color. And then this one is quite a dark colored contour. So I'm gonna try use the light contour. Oh God, it kind of, the texture of it freaks me out. Oh, that was so weird. The texture of it kind of felt like, oh, you know when you pick up a piece of chalk? Oh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with that light contour shade and set my makeup, I guess. That did actually brighten up my eye a little bit, I think. I'm not too big a fan of that powder, like it feels quite chalky, so I'm just gonna quickly set the rest of my face using just a normal face powder. So I'm now just gonna go back to that contour palette and I'm going to take the dark contour shade, which does look pretty dark, and I'm just taking a tiny bit of this Oh, that's really quite dark. It's okay. It kind of blended, I think. Did it? Did it? Okay, be careful with this. Like, you need the tiniest amount. I do like that it's quite cool toned, but um, that was too much. When you have pale skin, it's so hard. Oh, wow. I just used a light contour shade and went underneath that. Yeah, when you have pale skin, it's super difficult to get a contour that doesn't look muddy. Well, I find that anyway. And then I am going to use the orange bronzer because I don't have anything else. It's literally an orange. I think I have actually tested this um, contour palette before in a first impressions video. And that was the video where I said that I would do like a full face testing George makeup, but... <laughs> I never got around to it. Okay, so as long as you tap off the most of the excess of your brush, it's not actually too bad. Like, it's really not that bad. So for blush, I have this Cosmic Blush Baked Blusher in Aurora, and this looks so pretty. It reminds me of MAC Soft and Gentle type thing. Um, it does seem like it's gonna be more of a highlight, but on me, I think the shade will be too dark as a highlight, so I am gonna use it as a blush. Oh my gosh, it's so glowy. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not a br blush. This is much more of a highlight. It has given me a little bit of a pinky kind of color, but it kind of doubles up as one. That's so pretty. I like that a lot. Then for actually highlighting, I'm using the four shade highlighter palette, which looks beautiful. So I think I'm gonna go in with the white one, which is called Luster. Whoa. That is pretty much a dupe for Becca Pearl. Wow, look at that glow. And my brow bone. One sec, I need to go get a smaller mirror because this is just too big, it's getting everywhere. Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, this highlighter palette gets a huge thumbs up from me. Like, look at this glow. Moving on to brows, I have this brow tamer cream, which I have used before. So I think I'm not gonna use this today, but I really, really like this. But I do have this new one, which is called the Tamer Brow Kit. Mm. I can't open it. It comes with tweezers and it does come with a little brush. Oh God, I've just stabbed it. <sighs> but that is really too thick and not straight. <laughs> so in here, there's a mirror, there's a wax um, at the top, there's a powder, and then there's a highlight for underneath your brow bone. Oh my God, I never use brow wax. Do you do the wax before the powder? Let's try the wax. Ooh. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is put the wax on first and then just put the powder like through the ends of my brows. I actually quite like that. Like it's pretty natural. I'm not really sure how to use brow wax, but I quite like how it's making my brows look. I'm now just gonna go in with some of the powder in the middle, which looks a little bit more warm toned. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the top of just the end part of my brow. I actually quite like this. Um, I don't know if it comes in different shades. It doesn't have a shade on it. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I have this eyeshadow pigment palette. This is the nude one. It's got eight different colors in here. So there are four 
mattes at either end and then the three in the four in the middle are shimmers starting off with the white one and i'm just going to put this all over my lid i'm then taking this transition color and then i'm going to dip into some of the dark brown uh, using the transition first it's a nice like orangey warm transition shade which i really like but i don't know it kind of feels like it's sticking in some clumps like up here and then taking the dark brown on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna put this on my outer corners. And I'm just putting a little bit of that through my crease. And then I'm going back to my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that in. Hmm, I don't really like that color, it's gone really patchy. I'm also just gonna run those two shades along my lower lash line a little bit. I'm gonna use this bronze color on my outer, like on just this part of my eye here. And then this one I'm gonna take on the onto the inner part of my eyelid. I don't really know if that made any sense what I just said, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm taking like the darker bronzy one first. I'm just gonna put that here. Shimmer shadows always work so much better when you apply them with your finger. So I'm now going into the gold. This reminds me a lot of the Boohoo eyeshadow palette, which um, I didn't like that much, but oh, I like this gold colour a lot. Yeah, this gold shade is so nice. And then finally, I'm taking this pale pink colour and I'm just going to put this on my inner corners. Woo! Wow. Okay, so the overall verdict of this eyeshadow palette, I'm not too crazy about the mattes, but the shimmers are so nice. Next, I have the Precision Eyeliner Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. And okay, this is very fat. It kind of reminds me of when I first got liquid liner and it's like quite a thick pen. However, that's really black. Ow. It's kind of painful, like it's hurting because it's so hard. <laughs> like, it's just a, a spiky little nib. Yeah, like literally it feels so dried up now. I am not a fan of this eyeliner pen. Like, it's just very stiff and it's quite a thick nib. Um, and also it just dries up so fast. Okay, so for mascara, I have the Vava Voom Volumizing Mascara. And I'm not gonna lie, I have actually used this before. Um, I did test it just because it was sitting in my drawer and I actually really quite like this. Wait, have I used this in a video before? I don't think I have. It's got a plastic brush um, and I just find it is really lengthening and it's quite separating as well. Ironically, it doesn't give that much volume, but um, you can definitely build it up. Again, I think I'm just going to put this on my top lashes because I have really really been enjoying the top eyelashes only look at the moment. I have two of their matte lips and then two of their standard lipsticks. I think I'm just going to test out the liquid matte ones. I have tested out this nude colour before, like it's a pretty nice nude. These smell so good. Um, from what I remember, it's actually pretty comfortable to wear. Like, I don't think it actually fully dries down, but I am going to test it and I am going to go in with the red one because... I think I need a little bit of colour. I actually do quite like the packaging. It's just this like frosted plastic. Pigmented. Wow. That's so pigmented. This is quite possibly one of the most gorgeous red lipsticks I have ever tried. That went on so smoothly and it looks so nice. I am not mad at this face of makeup right now. I really like that brow product. I like the mascara. I really, really like the highlighter palette, the baked blusher. Um, the contour palette is okay. The foundation wasn't my favorite, but if you had dry skin, you might like it. The eyeliner, eh, was, I wouldn't recommend the eyeliner. And yeah, this liquid lipstick is so comfortable. Like, it hasn't dried down completely matte, so it does transfer a bit but it definitely looks fully matte. Okay guys, that was honestly so much more successful than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, like, I never really thought to buy makeup from Asda, like Asda own brand makeup. To be fair, that's what I used to do when I was 12. My first ever foundation was Asda's own brand foundation that was like a pound or something. Sorry if I have lipstick on my retainer. I'm really, really hoping that I don't. I don't know, just overall, I really like the way that my face looks. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would give it a thumbs up because apparently that helps me out and I think it like 
helps my video get seen by more people. I don't even know, YouTube is a mess right now. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you have enjoyed this video and you would like to be subscribed and you wanna see more of my face and me testing stuff, then hit that little subscribe button down below, turn on my post notifications, um, and yeah, I think that is it from me. I hope you guys are all doing well and yeah, like I said, if you wanna see anything more about my teeth, head over to my second channel, which is just Soap Does Vlogs. It's linked down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.